When modeling with 3D solids, you may find that you need to edit the base geometry used to create the object. In most cases, Vectorworks stores a history of all solid operations performed on the object, from the initial creation of the 2D shape to additions, subtractions, sweeps, and other operations. To access the history of a solid, you need to access the edit mode. This can be done in two ways. First, you can select the object, then select Edit in the Modify menu. Alternatively, you can simply double-click on the object to enter the edit mode. The edit mode is highlighted by a colored border around the drawing area. In addition to the border, an exit button will appear in the upper right corner of the drawing area. After making edits, click this button to exit the editing mode. This button will also show the current operation being edited. We will come back to this in a moment. When in the edit mode, you can edit the objects just as if they were directly on the design layer. For example, if you are editing an extrude, the original 2D shape is displayed. Using the reshape tool, the shape can be edited directly. Alternatively, the add or clip surface commands can be used to shape or modify the object. You can even delete the shape and draw a new object if you'd like. Note, if you delete the shape and then exit the editing mode without creating a new 2D shape, the extrude will be deleted from the file. If editing a more complex solid, one with multiple nested operations, each of the operations can be edited. When first entering the editing mode, the last operation performed on the solid is displayed. Then, using the same method of double-clicking or using the Modify Edit command, the previous operations can then be edited. This procedure can be repeated all the way back to the original geometry. To keep track of the operation currently being edited, keep an eye on the Exit button in the upper right corner. This will display the current operation being edited. You will need to exit each operation individually to exit the editing modes completely. The Escape key can be set as a shortcut to exit these editing modes. To do this, navigate to the Edit Data Bar and Exit Group Options Quick Preferences icon found in the toolbar. The icon looks like a gear. At the bottom, enable the Use Escape Escape Exit Group option. Now you can press Escape Escape to exit the editing modes. By default, when in an editing mode, other objects will be shown grayed. This is to help isolate what is being edited. However, other objects can either be displayed fully visible or turned off completely. This is done by adjusting the Show Other Objects While in Editing Modes preference. This preference is found in the Vectorworks Preferences by going to Tools, Options, Vectorworks Preferences, and clicking on the Display tab. When modifying 3D solids, Note that certain operations can remove this edit history. Primarily, if the Fillet or Chamfer Edges tools are used on a solid, this will remove the edit history. When possible, it is a good idea to perform these operations last. Once an object is finalized, it is also a good idea to optimize the solid by converting it to a generic solid. This operation will erase the editing history of the object and reduce the file size. To convert the solid to a generic solid, Select the object, then go to the Modify menu, and under Convert, choose Convert to Generic Solids.